I grew up in the Reformed Church, and it kind of carries through how my folks went about it. Very steady, and very uh, uh, staying with the with the Reformed Church, you know, and staying true to God's Word, I think, has been a, a major factor in our lives. And I think a good solid church and a good college that has these practical implications, they will keep growing. There were a lot of faithful experiments on the prairie. The Methodists, the Lutherans, the um, Evangelical Freeze, the Presbyterians. The faithful experiment here, and, and um, I think what our goal is and mission is, and what our calling is, is to remain faithful to God's providential care for the place. What we're doing is educating particularly young people, but broader community as well, to first of all, understand more deeply the character of God's world in which He's placed us so we can glorify Him just by the fact that we know a lot more about His world, its beauty, its complexity, but also we're preparing uh, all kinds of folks who will walk out of here ready from day one to take up their task. When I saw the genuineness of, the, of the, just the staff, that they just exuded to me that, that we're here because we love the Lord, we're here because this is a place where we want to in every way we can influence young people to love the Lord like we do, and then to carry that with them as they leave this place after just a few short years. And I would say that would be the first thing that impressed me, that genuineness. I enjoyed the, uh, the outlook and the outlines they had for Dort College. I felt bonded to, to a Dort, and it, it grew, it's a growing relationship. It still is today. I looked at the situation and said, you know, uh, we don't need that kind of income. We could have bought more housing or land or whatever. And we decided to uh, put it in God's kingdom. When I really started to understand that everywhere and everyone that I encountered was trying to live out a world and life view, and that view was that God's in everything. He's not just in the classroom, he's not just in the Bible classes, he's not just on Sunday morning, he's everywhere and everything. And so that really is uh, why I'm encouraging people uh, to uh, participate in the campaign that we've begun. Do the giving while you're living, knowing where it's going, and the joy you get out of it is incomprehensible. And the peace and the joy it gives you in your life, it isn't money, it's just a gift to God, what He gave us.